Now then YouTube, I am the Topman and welcome back to The Sims 3 Seasons. I'm sorry that uh, it's been a while since you saw the last episode. I was meant to get one out uh, on Wednesday but unfortunately things transpired and I wasn't able to do that. Uh, however, I do have the time at the moment, only about around about half an hour I think I've got to sit down so I'm hoping I can get one, maybe even squeeze another episode in there um, and hopefully that will do for, for, for this week for you guys. That means an episode hopefully on Friday and you will definitely have an episode on Sunday as well. So you'll still have the two episodes of this week, that hasn't changed. So, last episode we got uh, some pets, as you can see we've got a little room for the pets here, which is very nice indeed. Um, unfortunately uh, Autumn has hit us now and we have yeah what's she doing out there with the with her jammers on I'll never know but we do have our cat and we do have a dog kicking around somewhere wherever he is where are you for there he is in the, in the kitchen up to no good he is so we've got yeah we've got the uh, two people there uh, two additions to our family Kia and Mo Mocha very nice indeed let's have a look at the needs here for this guy uh, he's just about to get up What's up? What type of week are we? What type of day of the week are we on here? Ah, day off. Lovely. So he can uh, have a quick meal of some cereal, as you usually do when they when they get up. He's got a lot of time on his hands today. Now, does he have the lifetime happiness yet? He doesn't have the lifetime happiness to be dirt defiant, which is a bit annoying. But what can you do? What can you do? I really am looking forward to expanding this house a little bit more. I do want to get a staircase in here, and I'll probably be putting it. Uh, I'll be probably putting a corridor down the side of there, and probably putting a staircase in there somewhere, and then you know moving things around downstairs and stuff like that. But I need money to do that first, and I haven't quite got enough money with only 1,200 left. Now, uh, since you know a few episodes back, I did put aging on. I did enable aging and it means that we are going forwards in aging 14 days until he ends up an elder and um, where are we looking at with the ah the one day until spooky day so that's going to be in the next episode that's going to be good pet oh lovely oh, look at the little dog look at the little doggy she's very nearly got uh, promoted yet again uh, remember guys she does have the dirt defiant but it doesn't actually stop you from needing to go for a shower. Unlike with the bladder, that actually stops you. Well, this one doesn't, so. She's going to get some cereal, then she's going to pop into the shower as well. Not at the same time, though. Now, there has been an update to The Sims, and it does fuck about with my uh, sound. So I do apologise, guys, if the sound is like massively loud or something like that. I did turn it down, and it, it seems to turn down in my ear roll, but you never know with with, uh, with fraps whether or not it keeps it the right sound or not. So there's been a lion for Lawrence today. He's also going to get some... I don't know what he's doing, but he's not doing a cereal for a change. He's doing something else. What the hell is that? Is that a ball? It is. So he is... What's he doing? I thought it was on the uh, computer there, on the Xbox, but no, apparently not. He's going to work on that. He's going to read that. He's, he needs that for his job, you see. He's got nothing in research at the minute. He's got a little smiley face on logic, but he could do with an improvement there as well, as you can see. Where is the dog? Playing in puddles. You can reinforce this. You can praise it for being hyper, or you can scold it for being hyper. Um, to be honest, he's having fun, not doing much. He wants to chew on something. Well, I would love to give it a, ch uh, a chew toy, as you can see there, the little thingy, but I don't know how. Uh, and I looked into that in the last episode, didn't I, but I just couldn't find anything. Let's go into buy mode and see if I can't find anything else. Um, going to pets. Is there a little bone? I think there is. Oh, oops. Put that back down, boy. There's just no bone, and I, I don't get where it comes from either. Um, it should, in theory, be here. 
I just can't see it. Maybe it's just me? But I just can't see it. That's all of the items there and I still can't see it. Nope. What's this? Stage prop. Now you would think that the dog itself would be able to play with the uh, would be able to play with something in here but apparently it can't get out of these boxes. I don't understand that. Maybe I've got to do it with an actual adult. He's still looking at that. He's doing that. He is washing all the dishes in the room because there's a ledge. Alright. Open. Ha ha! Where did I put it? It's gone. There it is. Lovely. Something broke, so she's going to get to fixing that. There it is, look. Repair that. No, dog. She's going to have to do a bit of reinforcement. Scold for being destructive. And she's finished repairing that, of course. Here we are. How dare you? Don't do it again, boy. Otherwise, some slappings. Very, very annoyed with you. How dare you? Uh, it does need to be a bit destructive, so chew that, and then we can uh, we can praise it for chewing that. You see. So, reinforcement, praise for being non-destructive. And there you go. This is how you teach your pets to do certain things or not to do certain things. So a bit of positive reinforcement there for the dog. Lovely. And the cat as well needs to do a little bit of scratching. Let's tell her to scratch over there. Is she on my bed? Son of a bitch. Get off the bed. Let's <laughs> play with the thing there. So she's going to do a bit of scratching. I'm going to positively reinforce that scratching. Um, let's have a look at her skills there. Oh, no, she's hunting. You can't really see where's, where the thing is. Genius. Non-destructive. She's been trained. Okay, so she's already been trained to, uh, to scratch on there. Reinforcement. Prayers for being non-destructive. Good stuff. Just to make sure. There we are. Bit of positive reinforcement on being non-destructive there. What about this little guy here? Likes swimming. He's quiet and independent. You can change these traits as well. Like I said, you can uh, tell it to do things itself and then positively reinforce something. So they eventually either lose one of these traits or, you know, um, change one of these traits for something else. So just remember that, guys. You can do that. And the heavens have opened. Outside we do have a a bit going on here. Oops. Affection, play, nothing to actually reinforce at the minute. Right, he, I think, has finished his thing. Is he actually playing with his son? Ah, oh, good lad, that's what I like to see, him and his son getting on. Unfortunately, I can't say the same with his mother. But there you go. So his career is looking very nice indeed for if he was going into work. But of course, he's got a couple of days off. I'm going to get her to uh, start on with another painting, I think. So paint, a large painting, and we'll take it from there. Bit of thunder, bit of lightning going on. That's what I like about Seasons. It just gives it that bit of a more dynamic feel. I can't wait until we get to the uh, winter, though. That'll be good. How long have we got left of autumn, by the way? Four days until winter. I do like it when it starts snowing in The Sims. I still don't know what it looks like. But you guys will find out in a few episodes time. Oh yeah, proper bucketing it, bucketing it down out there. She's painting. He is still playing on that game. And in fact, I'm going to get him to start tea. There we are. And Lawrence, you can get a shower. Where have you gone? He's gone to the prom. Okay. Uh, I didn't realise that he'd gone to the prom, but... Uh, whatever. 
I'm sure he's already been to one. Do they really have two in two weeks? I don't think so. She's not going to be socialising with a werewolf. She does need to fix that PC though. Didn't I already do that? Apparently not, because there's some steam coming out there. I did want to get him to do a story, but can't do it if it's broken. What's going on? What happened there? I got a ding, diddle ding. I think he actually went up in his cooking skill. Yeah, he did. He went up in his cooking skill there. And a hundred tips and working in the DJ booth. Yeah, I haven't had a crack at that yet, have I? Where is he? Oh, is it the problem, isn't he? So I can't really do anything with that bloke at the minute. Which is unfortunate. Is that the pr That really is cracking through there. Lawrence wanted to set a booby trap, but... Lawrence saw chaperones everywhere. Uh, shower. Congratulations, level three. Lawrence is tearing up the dance floor. Woo! Good lad. Good lad. Um, he's just left his dirt there by the looks of things. Lily has now gone up another level. She's going to get 1,440 simoleons a week in stipends or stipends, whatever you want to call them. She's very nearly finished that, uh, well, she's very nearly gone up in the painting level as well, which is great news. Because that'll mean, yep, level 9 in painting when she's finished. And I think she will actually go up to level 9 before she's finished this painting, she certainly will, uh, which is going to be great. Gavin Tinkerton, Theodore has been invited. Theodore has been invited to this, has he? Yeah, I think he'll attend that, to be honest. Lily got promoted. So I'll let him go for to this party. She's going to start doing that. I'm actually going to follow him around to this other guy's house for a, a little shindig on a Saturday night. A little shindig on a Saturday night. Anyway. Lovely. Bezzing around there. Looks like we're on the wrong side. We're going to have to flip everything around. Oh, it's very posh here. So of course he goes walking straight across the grass. Some zombies going on there. Oops, wrong way. It's off, man. Wrong way. There we are. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see if there's anybody to uh, cop off with. Patricia Bedlington. Friendly. Ask no. <laughs> Can't you just, like, say now then? Agree. There we are. Oh, but she's just got changed though. She looks a bit old, actually. Is she? Is it just me? No, it's just me, but she does look like a werewolf. Highly, highly, highly like a werewolf. She's got a very hairy chest. That's usually something to stay away from. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Patricia, but hair on the chest, yeah, it uh, puts me off a bit. She looks like a fairy. Could be just me. Have a look on the back there. No, nothing there. Who is she anyway? Friendly. Get to know. What's her name? What is her name? Alouetta. 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 Nice. Oh, lovely. I've come to some sort of supernatural party here. This is uh, not exactly what I expected. Painting level 9. Good stuff. Nice, should get a bit of money for that painting now. Especially when she gets to level 10, she ra rattles out those paintings, I tell you something. They will be an absolute fortune. So, friendly, pff, ask about a career. Why not? He looks like a magician. Let's just come in there. So what does she do then? Do we know? She's a freelance writer. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, Flatter. Yeah, might as well. What are you doing, bloke? Who is making that noise? Who is seriously making that noise because it is crap? Stop. Right now. Friendly... Alma Mater, whoever that is. Oh, there's another werewolf. 
you can tell by the distortion in the voice as well as the the, the ears and the way that he walks and everything so community high school okay graduated from the high school uh, flirt see oh no she didn't like that Ah, she's in a relationship with Santiago. That's one way to learn it, I suppose. But we are learning a bit about Alouette here. Yeah, we don't do cooking stuff. Uh, being awkward. Okay, I think we might wrap this up here. Apologise. Yeah, she accepted that, right. You can go on. This is one party that you probably don't want to be at, to be honest, fella. It's too many... Too many supernaturals kicking around. We don't want to get involved with supernaturals at the minute. We don't want to get involved with that. Painted something brilliant. Here we are. It's valued at 952 simoleons, guys. And this is what every painting could be. This is what every painting could be. Now, let's stop following him. Let's look at her. She wants to master the painting skill, which we will get there. And we're going to sell that. Because we can. And that will give me loads more money. And Theodore and Lawrence, should I say, it's 1.50 in the morning, so it's probably about time that these guys actually got to bed, because they've got a big day tomorrow. They've got something to, uh, to go to. She's currently eating, but she will sell that painting before she goes to bed. Sleep. Is a cat sleeping outside there? No, it's sleeping over there. Fair enough. What's the matter with you then, fella? His destruction skill is pretty much, you know, through the roof there. So we'll get him to uh, do a little bit of destruction. As well as a he's got a bit of a hunger going on as well. So he's got a bit of a squeaky toy. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Anyway, guys, um, this has been this episode. Tomorrow will be the day of Spooky Day, and we will go to the, uh, the whatever it is, the festival for that, and see what exactly is going to be going on there. Um, until next time, guys, I've been the Tough Man. As always, stay safe.